No matter how many mysteries you discover, how many monsters you conquer, or how many tourists you sell knickknacks to, there's always gonna be something bigger, badder, and weirder out there. And if you're visiting Gravity Falls, there's a high likelihood that it's Bill Cipher. But what do we actually know about this triangular, multi-dimensional being? And where does he come from? Well, we're aiming to answer that question today by putting his whole existence on an easy to understand timeline. Welcome back to Channel Frederator. Today we're going over the complete Bill Cipher timeline. Grab your favorite hat and maybe a twin if you've got one. It's gonna be a wild ride. Trillions of years ago. Way, way back before the events of Gravity Falls, Bill Cipher came into existence in the second dimension. He did not like it very much. In fact, he called it a dimension of flat minds and a flat world with flat dreams. Funny considering how 2D he is. The flatness of it all eventually got to him and he decided to liberate the dimension. His definition of liberate is not exactly where most people would go, meaning that he plunged everything into horrifying flame-filled chaos. Classic Bill. This also got old eventually, so Bill discovered a place between dimensions, the Nightmare Realm. And yes, it is just as nightmarish as the name suggests. Lawless, volatile, and essentially nonsensical. There aren't any real physics or rules to abide by here, which, while cool, also meant that the realm was fated to collapse into itself. Bill wanted his nightmare realm to stick around, so he found a prophecy that would allow him to merge it with the third dimension. In order to do so, though, he had to contact some humans. Human contact was tough, however, as Bill did not have a physical form. His workaround was to enter the dreams of beings in the third dimension. This is when he took on the name Bill Cipher, as his real name would simply cause someone to evaporate with an expression of horror and ecstasy on their face. I'm sure Bill would enjoy that, but it kind of ran perpendicular to his plans. Eventually, Bill started targeting the natives of what would become the town of Gravity Falls, around 1000 AD. Bill found a shaman by the name of Modok the Wise and convinced him to build an interdimensional gateway between the third dimension and the nightmare realm. However, this portal was made of nothing but twigs, not too sturdy. Soon, Modok figured out what Bill was up to and saw the looming apocalypse. His response? Modok lit himself on fire. This only slowed down Bill for a little bit though. The rest of the natives came up with a plan to defeat Bill using a 10 symbol zodiac. In order to pass this information on, they made all sorts of cave paintings about their dealings with Bill. These paintings detailed how to summon the interdimensional being, but also came with a warning to never read the incantation meant to summon Bill. The natives then deemed the land cursed and got the heck out of Dodge. The area did not stay devoid of human presence forever though. Soon, Quentin Tremblay and assorted other pioneers discovered the natural bounty of the place, and Gravity Falls was born. Late 20th century, Stanford Ford Pines came to town and investigated all of the strange things going on in Gravity Falls. Over the course of six years, he developed a wide array of technology to complete further research. He hit a snag and couldn't quite figure out why Gravity Falls was the way it was. This roadblock was averted when he discovered the paintings about Bill in the cave. Ignoring the warnings left behind, Ford said the incantation and summoned Bill into his mind. Bill, ever the trickster, convinced Ford that he was a muse that would choose a genius to inspire once a century. With their partnership established, Bill revealed to Ford that Gravity Falls was especially strange thanks to a dimensional rift. Ford began work on an interdimensional gateway beneath his home and had Fiddleford McGucket help out. Ford became obsessed with Bill and his powers, collecting all sorts of triangular memorabilia and goods, filling his place of work with them and even modeling his home after Bill. This obsession led to Ford allowing Bill to enter his mind. Fiddleford was understandably worried about Ford and the portal they were creating. 1982. On January 18th, 1982, the first portal trial was completed. It did not go as planned, with the test dummy accidentally pulling Fiddleford in along with it, sending him through the portal head first. Here, he witnessed Bill removing his exoskeleton in order to feed. When he made his way back, he kept mumbling nonsense, including a prophecy about the beast with one eye. He soon after quit the portal team. Fiddleford's worries and subsequent abandonment of the project made Ford wonder about Bill. When he confronted the triangular being, he learned that Bill had tricked him, and that the portal was supposed to bridge the gap between the Nightmare Realm and the Third Dimension, bringing chaos and destruction to the universe. Ford immediately stopped the project and tried to destroy the portal, falling through himself. For 30 years, Ford remained inside the portal. Bill did not see or interact with him during this time. With Ford gone, Bill no longer had access to the Third Dimension. 2012 
For a while, Bill Cipher could only be seen through hidden triangles and images of himself scattered throughout Gravity Falls. Eventually, Bill is summoned by Gideon Gleeful, who's looking to take over the Mystery Shack. Gideon asks Bill to steal Stanford Pine's safe combination from his mind so he can take the deed. Bill's a little confused by this, but realizes that Gideon is asking him to enter Ford's brother, Stanley's head. Bill agrees to this, but only if Gideon helps him with his own plans. They shake on the deal, witnessed by Mabel and Seuss. Dipper, Mabel, and Seuss follow Bill into Stan's head. Bill tricks the three into helping him look for the combination, summoning Xyler and Kraz from Mabel's imagination and impersonating Seuss. He ends up with the combo, but before he can get it to Gideon, Mabel shoots the memory door into another memory of the bottomless pit. When Gideon breaks off the deal, Bill brings Mabel and Seuss's nightmares to life and also kills Xyler and Kraz. Dipper reminds Mabel and Seuss that they can do anything they want inside of Stan's mindscape, resulting in Bill almost being defeated. He lets the trio go, saying that they should beware a mysterious darkness that will change everything they care about. As he leaves in a representation of the Zodiac, he reminds them that he'll be watching. Bill later returns to offer up a laptop password to Dipper. At first, Dipper refuses, but when he almost wipes the hard drive after too many attempts, he asks for Bill's assistance. Bill takes over Dipper's body as a puppet and breaks the laptop. He then heads to Mabel's puppet show to acquire Dipper's journal. There, he almost tricks Mabel into handing it over, but the two get into a fight. Mabel wins, and Bill is removed from Dipper. In a last-ditch effort, Bill hops into one of Mabel's actual puppets, but she burns them all away with puppet show pyrotechnics. For a while, Bill only appears in images and symbols. He eventually makes it back into Ford's dreams and tells Ford that he's been getting ready for the big day, taunting him that he won't be able to keep the rift safe. He sets fire to Ford's mindscape and escapes through a portal. From the Nightmare Realm, Bill watches as Ford and Dipper Bill-proof the Mystery Shack with Moonstones, Mercury, and Unicorn Hair. This inspires Bill to look for a new person to possess, resulting in him possessing Blendin Blandin. He gets Mabel to hand over the rift, playing on her desire to make time stop. He gets possession of the rift, smashes the protective case, and knocks Mabel and Blendon out, signaling the start of Weird Mageddon. Weird Mageddon. Bill gains a meaty physical form and traps Mabel in a bubble. From there, he introduces himself as the new ruler of Gravity Falls, along with his friends. He disfigures Preston Northwest and starts redecorating the town with eye bats and the pyramid. Ford fires at Bill with a quantum destabilizer, but only hits his top hat. In retaliation, Bill knocks over the clock tower, pinning Ford. He turns Ford into a golden statue and steals the three journals from Dipper, burning all but two pages in the process. He sicks eight ball and teeth on the young lad before driving off in a sweet ride. Bill and his pals throw a rave inside of the pyramid and are interrupted by the Time Paradox Avoidance Enforcement Squadron. He simply vaporizes the Time Police and Time Baby. Soon after, he puts his worldwide Weird Mageddon plan into action, but his demons are stopped by a force field around Gravity Falls. He realizes that Ford is the key to getting out of town. With this, he ungolds Ford and asks why he can't escape. Ford won't tell him even when promised unlimited power. Bill decides that he'll just find the answer in Ford's mind, but Ford will not let Bill in. Torture ensues. Torture is interrupted by the arrival of the Shaktron, a big ol' mech made by McGucket and the townsfolk. Bill sends his lackeys to fight, but they're all defeated. So Bill joins the melee, turning Ford back into a statue and trying to crush the mech. The Bill-proof barrier is too strong, and he actually has his eye torn out. While all of this happens, Dipper, Mabel, Stan, Seuss, McGucket, Wendy Pacifica, and Sheriff Blubs parachute into the pyramid. As Bill regenerates his eye, the human squad unfreezes all the people trapped in the human throne. They also figure out the strategy required to defeat Bill, using the Zodiac. When his ocular orb returns, he finds a weak point in the Shaktron, its legs. He clubs the mech as far as he can, golf style. Stan and Ford get into a petty argument, delaying the Zodiac plan long enough for Bill to return. Seeing what they're up to, Bill burns away the Zodiac, traps Stan and Ford, and turns everyone else except for the twins into screaming tapestries. He traps the twins inside of a prison, and tells them that he'll spare them if Ford lets Bill into his mind. Mabel distracts Bill long enough to escape with Dipper. Bill gets mad enough to turn into a new red and yellow form, and captures everyone once again. 
Here, he delivers an ultimatum to Ford. Let him in, or one of the twins dies. Ford finally relents and lets Bill into his mind. However, it turns out that Ford and Stan had switched clothes at some point, and now Bill was inside of Stan's head by accident. The trickster got tricked. Bill attempted to call off the deal, promising to kill everyone, but before he could escape Stan's mind, Ford erased all of Stan's memories. Bill, realizing what's happening, tells Stan that he's making a mistake, and then begins transforming into a strange form while speaking backwards. A-X-O-L-O-T-L. -L. My time has come to burn. I invoke the ancient power that I may return. Stan punches Bill, and Bill shatters. Weird Mageddon ends, and the only thing remaining of Bill is his petrified physical form. And surprise, surprise, Bill managed to make the jump into the real world. Live action. Post Weird Mageddon. Now, whether Bill is still around in any capacity is up to interpretation, as there are some hints in questionably canon materials, like Dipper and Mabel and the Curse of the Time Pirate's Treasure Select Your Own Choose Venture, Alex Hirsch's ARG Cypher Hunt, and some cryptograms in the comic Gravity Falls Lost Legends. Perhaps he invoked the axolotl that Dipper and Mabel met and forgot during their choose-your-own-adventure. Or maybe the folks who found Bill and shook his hand brought back part of him. We may never know. And that, my friends, is the complete Bill Cipher timeline. From his origins in 2D trillions of years ago, to his foray with the first folks to find him, all the way to getting blasted to smithereens inside some old dude's dome piece. What a life. And perhaps there's more to come. Alas, we can't know until something really bad happens, so keep those fingers crossed and those journals updated. So, what did you think of the video? What's your favorite Bill moment? Best Bill quote? Preferred Bill henchman? Make sure you let me know down in the comments and subscribe to Channel Frederator for more like this. Thanks for watching, and remember, Frederator loves you!